Okay, so about uh, Jen's questions, uh, ang hirap kasing explain uh, without using some illustrations, no? So, I, I will uh, just use this illustration that I used before um, sa aking 1 to 8 class. Uh, by the way, guys, i-discuss nyo to sa lecture ninyo, so don't worry. Kaya lang nauna tayo sa lab kasi. So, anyways, uh, once you discuss this topic, yung topic about polarization, mas maintindihan nyo siya. So, I will just briefly explain it here. Um, so, polarization in general is the deviation from equilibrium. Now, we have uh, different types of polarization. So, pwede siyang concentration polarization, uh, mass polarization. So, ang daming klase. Now, if it's uh, polarization, uh, concentration polarization, so one example is yung concentrate ng concentration polarization is due to mass transfer or slow mass transfer. So ano yung mass transfer? So it involves the movement of oxidized uh, species from the bulk of the solution to the surface film or pedering reverse. So movement ng redu reduced species from the bulk of the solution to the surface film. So I want you just to uh, Take note of the words or terms that na ginagamit natin. So, bulk, saka yung surface. Now, yung mass transfer, no, pwede siyang due to diffusion, migration, and convection. So, I will focus on diffusion. So, pag sinabi natin diffusion, this is brought about by some con concentration gradient, as you can see from this illustration. So, if these are your species, okay, so once they move, from one area to another, no, like yung normal na diffusion, di ba? Lagi siyang from area of higher to lower concentration. So, you create a gradient or differences. So, uh, I also want you to relate that um, definition to how your uh, setup looks like, no? So, ito yung itsura ng setup natin. So, may working reference and counter electrode. So, ito yung working electrode. So, remember that the reaction or the redox reaction happens at your working electrode surface. So, dito. Okay? So, tandaan yung, ito yung sinasabi dito na surface film. So, doon sa, for, sa part na yan. Ngayon, kapag malayo na siya sa surface na yan, ang tawag dyan bulk. So, ito yung part na yan na malayo dyan, considered bulk na yan. So, kung meron ka mga species dito or electroactive species, pwede sila mag-travel from here going to that surface para mag-undergo um, mag, ma, mag ng redox reaction. Okay, so let's move on. So, for uh, the diffusion process, so like what I have said, uh, it happens whenever um, a concentration difference develops between two regions of solutions. Pwede, example, a species is reduced or oxidized at electrode surface. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ka ng difference, yun nga yung gradient na tinatawag. No? So, pwede rin kasing if an ion or molecule move from more concentrated region to a more dilute no, uh, region, so, doon ka nagkikreate ng diffusion na tinatawag. Now, the rate of diffusion is given by this equation, no, where C is the concentration. So, it's a change in concentration per time. And this C is the concentration of reactant in your bulk, like what I have explained kanina. And then C0 is, or C0 is the equilibrium concentration at the electrode surface. Ibig sabihin yung mas malapit sa surface ng electrode. Uh, okay. Now, for you to really understand uh, what's happening, so you have to be familiar with the double layer Okay, so again, I explained to sa lecture, but uh, just for you to have an idea regarding uh, Jen's question. So, dun sa double layer, meron tayong two layers, kaya siya tinawag na double layer. So, the, uh, the first one is the stern layer, the second one is the diffuse layer. So, the stern layer is the part of the double layer that remains almost fixed to the solid surface. So, pwede siya magkaroon ng positive or negative um, ions, no? Uh, wag muna natin i-discuss yan. Well, on the other hand, the diffuse layer is, is the second part of the layer that extends to some of the distance into the liquid phase. So, as opposed to your stern layer, it contains ions of both signals. No? So, nasaan yan? So, ganito yung itsura niya. Okay. So, if this is your electrode surface, okay, your stern layer is over here. Okay. So, it must be opposite um, charge as your electrode sign. No? So, isang charge lang. 
So, nasa ng diffuse layer? Your diffuse layer is over here. Where it is composed of like positive and negative. So, nasa naman yung bulk solution? It's far. No, far from your, uh, tag nito, from your electrode uh, surface. So, ngayon, um, you have to relate that or whatever is happening happening in your um electrode no kailangan ma-relate niya siya sa shape nung ah uh, tawag nito nung ating voltammogram so etong isang picture na to it is just telling us that the redox reaction happens at the electrode surface so halimbawa kung meron tayong mga reduced species no kapag kumapit yan sa electrode okay diyan nangyayari yung oxidation diyan din nangyayari yung reduction by the way Kaya nga siya, um, uh, tawag nito, reversible redox system, di ba? So, dyan nangyayari yung exchange ng electrons. Now, if you notice, meron ka ditong um, flat or baseline na as explained to the pre-lab, di ba? In-explain natin yan. So, ito is, um, take note lang nung term ha. Again, i na sa lecture. Ang tawag dyan is capacitive current or non-faraday current. And yan, kung napansin nyo, maliit lang siya, di ba? Maliit lang yung ano or mostly mostly wala nga eh no and it is due to uh, uh non electroactive species like for example di ba gumamit kayo ng um ng salt no so like halimbawa potassium nitrate or potassium chloride so yung presence nila so yan yung sa current na yan so tandaan maliit lang yan no as opposed to of course anong opposite ng non faraday current is yung faraday current so, yung Faraday current, itong na-observe na, um, na to, itong si peak current, uh, reduction peak current, um, oxidation peak current, yan yung mga Faraday current. And, it, and ito ay dahil sa redox reaction. Okay? So, kung napansin nyo, mula dito, 1.1, ang x-axis mo, 1.1 magiging 0.3. Ibig sabihin, pababa, ba So, kung pababa, that means that itong first scan mo na to, it is your first scan, Okay, forward scan, is reduction. Kasi papunta sa lower potential. So, that is why this is your considered ito na um, peak current, no? Or reduction peak current. Ngayon, saan galing yung peak current na yan? So, remember that um, so, remember that as we apply um, reduction potential, in this case, ha, kunwari ito yung ating uh, Plot. So, mag-apply ako ng reduction potential. So, ano ba yung mga initially na meron ako? So, may mga, let's say, uh, um, oxidized species ako. Let's say, meron ako mga um, ferricyanide dito. Yan, nandito yung mga ferricyanide ko. Meron din ako dito mga ferricyanide, no? So, kapag nag-apply ako ng potential, okay, reduction potential, eto mga ferricyanide na yan, magmamigrate yan papunta dito sa working electrode kasi i-reduce mo siya eh. Okay, kasi reducing yung cur, uh, yung potential mo. So, ano mangyayari dito? Hindi ba etong part na to kung nag-migrate sila papunta dito, di ba? This will this part will be depleted. Okay, with your oxidized species. So, um yun yung explanation kung bakit tumataas yung current dito kasi nagkakaroon ka ng gradient. Okay? O yung differences nung concentration dito. So, um, di ba remember that current is dq over dt or yung change ng charges per unit time. So, kung nagkakaroon ka ng changes ng charges dito, nababawasan yung mga let's say uh, negative or positive kasi napupunta siya dito, nagkakaroon ka ng gradient or changes. Okay? So, ngayon, dahil kailangan lahat ng ano, dahil, dahil ang ating uh, potential ay reducing, so, hahanapin pa niya Okay? Yung mga species na oxidized. Kasi gusto niya i-reduce lahat. No? So, so kung tapos na itong mga nandito, ubus na yung mga nandito, saan niya kukunin yung mga iba pang i-reduce? E di dito sa bulk solution. Remember guys, that uh, itong um, ox, uh, maximum na to, no? ito yung part, yan yung point, okay, na kumbaga, mataas or mabilis. Not mabilis ba? Or yun yung uh, part na mata uh, mababa yung um, time 
na tinravel ng mga charges mo papunta dito. Kasi di ba remember, DQ over DT. So, kung mababa yung time, mataas yung current. Okay? So, yung, itong mga to, magta-travel sa'yo, mabilis lang papunta dyan. Ngayon, kung itong mga to, para makapunta dito, di ba, it takes longer time to go here. So, yun part na yon yun yung bababa na yung current natin. Okay? So, kasi nga, it takes more time para, para sa kanila mag-travel. Now, sabihin na natin na lahat na ay na-reduced. Okay? So, lahat na na-reduced. So, magsu-switch potential tayo dito. Switching potential or more oxidizing naman. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, ganun, ganun naman, mababaliktad naman ngayon yung process. Okay? Pero, pero same mechanism. Okay? So, magkakaroon ka naman ng uh, reduced, depleted, um, depleted, um, reduced uh, species dito. Tapos, ganun din, magta-travel din sila papunta dito. Ngayon, regarding um, Jen's questions, no, bakit daw um, kapag uh, faster yung scan rate, okay, it will lead to a decrease in the size of diffusion layer. etong part na to, yung diffusion layer, bababa daw siya, which will result to higher current. Okay? So, remember that the scan rate uh, in your experiment, it is the one that controls how fast you apply your potential. So, remember na kapag ka Mabilis yung scan rate, no? Yung time para sa bulk solution. Ito yung bulk solution mo, di ba? Yung time niya, mag-travel mula dito, papunta dito, to diffuse into the product layer. Ito yung product layer mo. Okay? At the electrode surface, no? Will be less, no? Than normal. So, in that case, ano, ano ang um, uh, consequence nun? So, kung mas... Mab mas, um, dahil nga mas mabilis yung scan rate so less yung kanilang time mag-travel so nagkakaroon ka ngayon ng shortage ng diffusion layer dito kasi nga bigla silang nandito na sila lahat na nag, ano na sila eh, nag, nag accumulate na sila sa part na to so kaya ang sabi dun sa, sa journal no that scan rate will, will decrease in the size of the diffusion layer kasi ito yung for example ito dapat ang diffusion layer mo pero dahil mabilis biglang nag-move na sila dito, mas manipis na yung diffusion layer. no Pero ang consequence nun, guys, ay mas malaki yung um, peak current mo ngayon simply because mas mabilis na rin yung time. So, remember that time is inversely proportional to your uh, movement uh, changes ng charges. no So, it will entail also higher current. Okay? So, hope hopefully it answers uh, Jen's question.